Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my beautiful animals. For those that don't know, I absolutely love animals and my dream job was honestly to work with animals. Um, it never sort of happened but, but I am absolutely obsessed with reptiles and I have two snakes. I did have three. One of them escaped and I never found it so it could be absolutely anywhere. Um, but it was a corn snake so you're all good. Um, <laughs> and I did have three lizards. Um, one of them is now my brother's. Um, the lizard I have now is the cutest little guy in the world and you're gonna absolutely love him. So I have two snakes and the first snake I'm gonna show you is my corn snake. Quickly I'll story about corn snakes is a lot of people will get corn snakes as their first reptile um, pet. And it's always recommended corn snakes are very easy to look after, which they are, like snakes aren't like a dog, you don't have to go walk them or like a cat, you don't have to let them outside. Um, they very much like being left alone and you only have to feed them every seven days. Some snakes are slightly different. Um, but I personally think that reptiles in general are very high maintenance animals just because they need the correct temperature, food, substrate, environment. They become unhappy very quickly um, and they are also very expensive. So for a first pet, they are quite tricky to look after. Um, I would probably say like hamsters or fish are the perfect starter animal just to get kids used to responsibility of an animal. And on that note, let me go get it. So this is my beautiful corn snake. The colours on the corn snakes are absolutely gorgeous and corn snakes come in all different kind of patterns. Um, I just absolutely fell in love with her colour, his colour. Um, and also, oh he's wrapped up in my hair, that's not good. Ah. So underneath he has like a domino-y effect, oh he liked that one. Um, which I thought was absolutely beautiful. And as he's got older, it's sort of faded more in his body and just sort of under his neck. Um, but yeah, this is him. And he is very, very big. He's grown a lot recently. Um, and yeah, he's just, he's the most active snake I have ever had, ever. Um, and I constantly have to change up his environment, uh, make sure his temperatures are perfect. No, stop going nowhere. He's very, he's very good, really well mannered. And the only time he's ever bit me is because it was my fault, really. Um, I put his mouse in the vivarium and of course he's going to go for the thing that's moving in his warm so it went for my hand instead as I put it in. Normally I'd use um, like tweezers um, but I didn't have that so I, was, I just had a glove on um, on one hand and he obviously went for the hand that didn't have a glove on um, and yeah so that ended that way um, but yeah absolutely love him he's absolutely beautiful um, and he's not too fussed about being handled but most snakes again like being left alone um, you don't really need to handle them too often um, it's very when they're when they're young it's quite important to handle them just so they get used to you um, and yeah <laughs> Um, she is absolutely massive. My corn snake is longer in length, but she's definitely a lot thicker and she has a tendency to wrap herself around my hair and then I can never get her out. So let's just try and keep her here. So she's a lot heavier, so I can definitely feel the, the weight difference on my arm just holding her like this. Um, but yeah, she's a Colombian rainbow boa and she is super strong. She has <laughs> So this little guy is Cody, Cody Maverick, and, and he's really small so I don't think you'll be able to see him so I might need to come a little bit closer. Um, but he is the cutest little guy ever and he's a sun skink and he's quite nervous um, but once you hold him for, for a while he calms down a bit so yeah um, this is Cody. 
and he's just the cutest little guy ever um, and he's actually very easy to look after all he needs is just obviously um, got to make sure his substrate is it's really warm in his bib um, and also make sure that he's got a UV light in there and he's a sun skink um, but yeah he's so cool and he's just the cutest little guy ever he kind of reminds me of like a snake and a lizard combined together um, but I'm going to get some close-ups for you guys can see because he has this absolutely beautiful colour down the side of him. It's like a yellow streak. So yeah, I'll just show you a little close-up. online about sun skinks but some skinks unfortunately there's lots of information about skinks in general and um, they're not his specific species um, so it has been quite hard to know what's best and um, you can only sort of get advice from experts in the shops um, but sometimes even they don't know um, so it's sort of a bit of you've got to find out what works for your own individual um, um, animal so yeah he is a cute little guy and like I said he's actually very easy um, to look after very well mannered little guy does a little job <laughs> and he's an albino leopard gecko um, he has a fat tail because his previous owner um, said that his tail actually fell off once um, which can happen under stress um, and also happen if you pick them up too quickly and they don't know sort of what's what's happening and um, so they can actually drop their tails and regrow them back and um, if you look at his tail than a normal one um, their tails are a little bit thinner um, but yeah this is him and he's super cute like he is actually pretty old and but geckos can live for years um, but Marcel's actually really old with him for years um, so yeah this is him he's very hardy like he's super strong he's actually very very low maintenance but again of course still have to make sure they have heat food and water at all time and right environment um, but this is him and he's just the coolest little guy ever and Marcel is just an awesome name the end of the video but thank you so much for watching and i really hope you enjoyed my video and um, any more suggestions let me know in the comments and please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time see you later bye